I'm going to be doing a seafood mukbang, mukbang, whatever y'all call it, from Shaking Crab. Now, I'm kind of upset because I paid my money for this little bag and I only got one. Mm -mm, this is not, this is not it. What I paid, I should have got it about three. But that's neither here or there. But um, today I'm going to be talking about my first official college party. Now, for those of you who may not know, I go to SUNY Buffalo State. And apparently, to most, Buffalo State is a party school. But once you actually get there and you start going to those parties, you're going to actually see that all those parties are not what they look like they were on snap but yeah so before i even start talking about that i'm gonna try to eat this little cluster of a crab that they tried to give me yeah i don't even have no sauce like they really did me so dirty and like when i went there before I did not get this little bag. Like, I couldn't even finish my food the last time. Uber Eats just really. <coughs> oh, this is spicy. Nah. They got it. Mm -mm. I need one of those little forks that they have at Red Lobster. so spicy like the second that it reaches like right here i just instantly cough like okay this was just the worst idea i should have just kept my money right on my card what is it that I said before I go to SUNY Buffalo State, everybody thinks it's a college. It's a a party school, but but yeah. So when I first got to campus, um like I was hanging out with my friends or whatever, like the friends that I had made in the group chat. Shout out to Buff Fam. Uh but 
yeah, like we were just all chilling, chilling, chilling. Um, I think it has to be around September. It was either September or October. And I was with two people. I was with Z and I was with Sean. And we were going to this party. I forgot the name of it. But we were like, oh yeah, let's go to this party. Ah, ah, tickets were like $10, $5, $15, something like that. And with that, like with the whole ticket situation, when they say those tickets are $5, you better get the $5 tickets because it will easily turn into $10 and 20 minutes after that. And then 15 after that, then 20, it'll even go up to like $45. And then the day of, there's always mad people looking around for an extra ticket or whatever. And they'll literally pay you like $50 for that ticket to go to that party. And it's like, bro, all these parties are the same from what I've, what I've been to. All of them are the same. Yeah, all of them are the same. And it's really nothing special. Like when you first get to campus, yeah, go to all the parties you want. But like after like November, it's like, bro, why are we still trying to party? But yeah, so we were getting ready. Party started at, I think 10 or something like that. But we didn't leave until like 11, I wanna say. And my, the location of this party was farther than what we all thought it would be. So my school is like extremely close to Niagara Falls, like where the border is between Canada and New York. And I thought it was gonna be like a little 10, 20 minute drive. No. That drive ended up being about 30 to 45 minutes long. And you know, like when you're driving somewhere and it's like, it's just like nighttime and it's really, really dark and you go over a bridge and the bridge just seemed longer than what it really is in the daytime. That's what, was, that's what was happening. And then as we're going over the bridge, well not over the bridge, but like as we're passing after the bridge, we pass an amusement park. So now I'm like, bro, where are we? And I don't know about you, but like if you have like Sprint or T-Mobile or something like that, and you go upstate, not even upstate, outside of New York City, you don't have service. And if you do, it's literally like one or two bars and you can barely get service with that. Barely make a call, barely post a snap, all that. Like if you was really in danger, you could probably only call 911. I'm not even gonna bank on that. But yeah, so we got there and of course there was mad heads, like mad cars in the parking lot, mad people in the party. And it was just a whole mess. And you needed your ID to get into the party to see, well, to prove that you was a college student or you were over 18. Um, and yeah, that line itself was long. So I knew the people, that there was a lot of people inside. Now, when I tell you, when I got inside and it was pitch black, but the only thing that was lit was the stage, it was just like, bro. What's really going on here? Like, I don't know, but it was so hot and I had on a, crop, a long sleeve crop top with a jean skirt and my CDGs. But I walked out that party drenched in sweat. Probably not even my own sweat, which is highly. Oh my god, that that's that's just disgusting. But yeah, so I'm there. I'm chilling with them. You know, just doing whatever we want to do. This is bad. But yeah. Do whatever you want to do. Listen to the music. I don't twerk or nothing because I can't twerk. I can't whine. I can't do nothing like that. So I'm just sitting there recording other people on Snap. And yeah. So it's like, I want to say like 12 or close to 1. And all three of us just like, alright. 
time to go. Like, there's nothing here for us. They keep playing the same songs that we heard in the new. Like, there's nothing special about this party. So as we're leaving, we are like, I right, let's go. So I'm like, all right, all right, let me get the Uber. I'm opening the Uber app and I see mad people coming out the party spot or the venue. And I'm like, bro, what just happened? The party got shut down or something? Come to find out, the party did get shut down because it was over capacity. Oh, it's over capacity. Um, so I'm trying to hurry up and get an Uber so we could just like not be standing outside. Cause at that point, it was cold. Upstate is just cold, like in general, cold. Like it's hot in the summer, like really, really hot. When it comes to like October, November, it's freezing. Well, it's not, freezing, but it's like it's cold. Um, but yeah. So I'm like, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to catch an Uber on the thing and it's just not loading, like not loading. So at first it was like $15. Then it slowly went up to 25. That 25 turned into 60. That 60 turned into 120. And when I tell you, I refreshed that thing, it said three something. I just looked and I was like, bro, how are we going to get back to our dorms? Like, we are literally in the middle of nowhere in Niagara Falls. There's no stores open. We're in the backwoods of somebody's house. Um, and it's cold. Like, it's really, really cold. And there's just a whole bunch of people trying to get an Uber, trying to get an Uber. People splitting Ubers, that's like $500 to get to the same place that we going to. And yeah, I was just, I was so tight. Cause I was hungry, I was tired. I, I needed to take a shower because I was drenched in soap and, and sweat. And I was not gonna have that. So, yeah, I want to say an hour goes by and we're still standing there. Look like we came straight from out of a club or something and have no ride. And yeah. But then, um, what happened after that? Oh, then we just start seeing cars come, like a few cars, and then somebody is like yelling out locations to where they about to be. Or you see just mad people running into cars, running into somebody's trunk, don't even know the driver or who else is in that car. Just like, Bro, somebody can kidnap you. And you willingly went. But, hey, I ain't even one of those cars, so, yeah. But, I ended up getting a cab from Niagara to back to the campus on this app. I forgot what it's called, but I'm, I'm gonna need to find out just in case if I do go back to another party and Uber is wild again, which that did happen again. You would think I would have learned my lesson the first time. Nope, dummy. Um, but yeah, so so got in the cab and. You know, it was still mad people standing outside. I want to say like, like 50 heads still standing outside in the cold, sitting on the sitting on the steps of the church at like two o'clock in the morning, with literally no way to get home. I'm not even home. No way to get back to the campus. So I'm like, all right, y'all. Um. Uh. 
I'm charging ten dollars a seat just so I can get my money back. My money back to see it. Like they wanted to get in because we had a car. And we was all just sitting there, didn't say nothing. I was like, alright, bro, you can go. Obviously they don't want to get back home and they wanna stay out in the cold by themselves. So yeah. So all three of us are in the car and the guy was driving and he was like, Where are you guys going to? Mind you, I called him and I'm like, bro. Well, I'm not, I wasn't like, bro. But I'm like, yeah, um, I'm at this location and I need to get back to Buffalo State. He said, okay. Then that car took like about, I wanna say like 45 minutes to get to where we was. Like, bro, what is going on with you? Like, why are you taking so long? Then the guy, the, the cab driver, once we got his number, he wasn't in, he wasn't trying to answer the phone. So I really had no way of finding out where he was. I was really about to call another cab, but thankfully he showed up. And I think he was kind of racist. Cause he, he didn't really wanna like, he didn't really wanna um like open the door. Like he was being kind of like, scary but he ended up letting us get in then once we drive away from where we were you're like y'all got money bro okay if we didn't have money why would we call the cab we're not in the city where we could just hop out of the cab and go about our merry life no this is buffalo we not gonna do that. And it's cold outside, how we just not pay you? Like, bro, we, all three of us had money too. That's the crazy thing, like, had wild bread. And this guy gonna say, do y'all have money? To make sure that we pay him in his raggedy car? Bro, like off that, I was just, I was so tight. Then he tried to lock the doors while we were inside the cab. Like, bro, you're not about to sit here and try to take us hostage to make sure that you get your bread. But, yeah. Then he was driving wild slow. And it was taking us even longer to get back to the dorm. But, we ended up getting back to campus. And that cab was like $50. I wasn't mad, but I was mad because I just paid like $15 last time, and now I gotta pay 50. Like, bro, what's good with that? Like, that that really, that, that made me so tight. Like, I really didn't wanna go to another party after that, but I ended up going anyway, and the same exact thing happened. But, oh no, baby. There's hair in my food. Oh my God! Y'all see that? Well, of course y'all can see that. Yeah, I'm getting my money back. They're wild. Y'all, I don't even want to eat this food no more. Like, this is definitely not my hair. Ugh, bro, this video is over.